Hey folks, welcome back. Let me show you three different ways that you can quickly and easily spin up a web server to deal with HTTP requests that utilize three different languages or frameworks. The ones that we'll be using today are PHP, Python, and Node.js. You can use any of the three methods that I'm about to show you to spin up a dev web server to serve web content from a specified folder with inside your machine to any other machine on the network, including your own. Let me show you the demo area. As you can see, I'm using a Tmux session with two panes. On the right is my machine sat right in front of me, and on the left is an SSH session to this Raspberry Pi here, also sat next to me, and also on my network. This Raspberry Pi is called Olympus. Olympus will be our web server today. Inside my demonstration area, I have simply one file called index.html. And inside of index.html, I have a very, very simple HTML file that has a title, a h1 and a h2 that is colored red. This is the web content that we're gonna serve. For the methods that I'm about to show you, you need to be inside the directory that you want to run your web server from. The first method we're gonna use PHP. And in fact, PHP comes pre-installed with an inbuilt web server that we can trigger using the minus capital S argument. So you can do PHP dash capital S um, and then IP address that it should listen to HTTP requests on. And in this case, I'm gonna use just four zeros. This will allow PHP to be accessible by any machine on the network. So other machines other than your own. You can of course put your own IP address or 127.0.0.1 or localhost, that also works. Then you should put a colon and the port number to listen to. So in this case, I'm gonna use 8887 in this situation, 8887. I'm gonna hit enter and it is now serving content. I'm gonna go over to my web page over here. I'm going to type the address of the Pi, which is 192.168.1.82, that's Olympus. And then the port number that we just provided, which was 8887. I'm gonna hit enter and of course, now there is our web content that we're being served from the Raspberry Pi. If we come back to our terminal, we can actually see the HTTP requests that were made against this server. Method two uses Python, and actually Python two and three both come with an inbuilt HTTP server. I will show you the Python three way of triggering it. To make Python run its web server, we do python m http dot server and then space and we can provide a port number. And this time I'm gonna use 8888, just so that we're using different port numbers and you can see I'm not cheating. Let's hit enter and it is now serving content. Let's go back to the web page over here. I'm gonna change the 8887 to be 8888, which is the port we just specified. Hit enter and we're getting the same content back. I'll just go to 8887 and prove that that's not a web server anymore. Again, when you head back to the terminal, you can see the HTTP requests that hit the server. The final method is using a node package called HTTP-server. You can install this into your project or globally like this, npm install HTTP-server-g for global, so everywhere on your machine, which I'd recommend so you can use it everywhere on your machine. Once it's installed, you can trigger it like this, HTTP-server, dash p to give it a port number and in this case i'm going to give it 8889 again just to prove i'm not cheating we hit enter and it's now serving web content we go back to my browser i'm going to change the 8888 to be 8889 hit enter and you can see we're getting served the same awful rubbish content i'll just go back to 8888 to prove that it is now not a web server anymore. And again, if you go back to the terminal, you can see the HTTP requests that are hitting the server. So that has been three really quick ways of spinning up a web server using three different languages or frameworks. There of course are many, many more ways of spinning up a web server from your terminal than the three that I've just shown you. In fact, please leave a comment down below with the ones that perhaps you use yourself. Thank you very much for watching again. And as always, thank you very, very much for all your support. With this channel, I'm trying to bring a bit of diversity to the topics that I cover. If you have any idea for topics that you would like me to cover in the future, please just hit me up on my socials or comment down below with your ideas. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.